Yo, what is good everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked Wi-Fi battle series that's going up on the channel. And in the last video, I actually made a mistake. I had not had my Cinderace uh, uh, Dynamax level maximum. I, didn't, I gave him no candy, just completely forgot about it. Uh, but we got one now. And uh, yeah, we got one now. And I guess I was going to show you before this battle, but I guess after this battle, I'll show you the new code. So if you... If you watched the second video, or the last video, I should say, and you wanted to use the Cinderace team, the way I didn't even get the feature Cinderace at all yet, uh, don't, that code's gone now. It doesn't exist anymore. But let's see what we got with Nightmare here. He's also got a Cinderace. Pretty nice. A Gengar, a Rillaboom, um, Dreadnought, Hatterene, and a Halucha. Halucha can be a problem, especially if Hatterene sets Psychic Terrain for him. Uh, who's his lead here? I guess he could lead Cinderace and want to either Sucker Punch, U-Turn, Shenanigans. He could lead Hatterene and just set Terrain. Uh, I think either way, my best bet is still just to lead Grimmsnarl. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And, uh, hold on, am I recording? Okay, I'm good. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Lead Grimmsnarl. Uh, Dragapult is pretty good for a lot of his team. If that Gengar is Scarfed, that's a problem. Aegislash is really good too. Uh, for the Hatterene and the Gengar. Um, Dreadnought is okay, I guess. I guess Cinderace could kind of do things here if he doesn't bring his Dreadnought. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go... Um, let's go Dragapult Cinderace. I'm going to try let make Cinderace do something, man. I, I want to give him the thumbnail. I really do. I really do. I was also thinking, this battle sounds like it's going to be pretty decent, but I don't know why I said sounds like, but it looks like it's going to be pretty decent. But if, um, if a few more of these videos end up being like the first and second videos, where it's kind of just like, uh, I really don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like, it's not like, ooh, at least Cinderace, nice. It's not like easy, you know what I mean? He can go for Sucker Punch here, it's going to be a little unfortunate if he does. Oh wait, never mind, I'm Grimstone. For whatever reason, I thought I led, I led Dragapult. Uh, anyways, I am... Should I Thunder Wave or Reflect? Can he block Thunder Wave? No one can block Thunder Wave. I'm gonna go for it. Thunder Wave, and then Reflect. He could... He most likely just U-turns here. I would assume that. That's that's kind of like... Unless he just wants to get some nice damage off with Power Ball. He could do that too. But more or less... Okay, so yeah, he does just U-turn. But that's fine. We have a he he has a paralyzed Cinderace for the rest of the match now, and he's Life Orb, so we got a nice little intel on that. Life Orb Cinderace, pretty good set. Not gonna lie, I hope he brought. I kind of hope he brought Dreadnought so that I can use my weakness policy on Cinderace. He brought Gengar. That's a problem, especially if he is. Uh man, do I want Reflect or Light Screen? I guess I would want Light Screen if this for this Gengar. Maybe I can get both off if I get this light. Yeah, let's let's see what happens. I could probably get both off. This light screen might save me from dying. Sludge wave. It probably won't though. It's pretty. It's pretty strong from a Gengar, and it might be Specs. Yeah. Okay. It didn't save me. That's fine. Now I can. I feel like I can safely bring in um, Dragapult. Ooh. Or maybe do I bring in Cinderace and then clean up with Dragapult later? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I know I won't be able to, um, with Cinderace, I won't be able to, uh, what am I trying to think? I won't be able to activate my weakness policy, because I don't think Gengar can learn anything that's super effective against Cinderace, but I'm still going to Dynamax Airstream to up my speed. I'll 100% be faster than his Cinderace. I think I'll be faster than most things he has, and this should do a decent amount of damage to a Gengar. It's from a pretty strong Cinderace, and it's a max move, so let's see what happens. Look at my, look at my Bugs Bunny. His nickname's actually Gotenks. But, uh, for whatever reason, you don't see those on ranked Wi-Fi battles. You can't see nicknames, which is weird. I didn't notice that until the second video, and I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? But yeah, okay, so that does... Oh, he's Focus Sash. I respect it. I got a light screen up, though. Oh, that was a crit. Crit might have mattered. My speed rose. He hung on using his focus sash. He's using Destiny Bond. I mean, ooh. I have to... Oh, wow. That's actually really good on his part. Oh, I can max Knuckle. 
Pro strats. I'm Max Knuckling. Pro strats. See, I, I would have to have swapped if I didn't have an attack. Like, if I... Yeah, because otherwise if I attack him, I, I, he di I die. I die if he dies. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to Max Knuckle. Because it won't do anything to him. It won't hit him. Because it's, it's, it's a fighting type move. Fighting type moves can't hit ghost types. Oh, snap. He's Dynamaxing. That's fine. I'll be able to kill him next turn. Does Destiny Bond go away once you're... Oh, wait a minute. I'm so stupid. I'm pretty sure Destiny Bond doesn't work against uh, against Dynamax Pokemon. I'm pretty sure. And I kind of just threw that away. Bro, he's an idiot. Yeah, okay, fine. Then it doesn't matter what we did this turn. That's fine. I max knuckled to prevent the Destiny Bond. I think I'm pretty sure... I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that... Uh, should I... Oh, I should have said Max Flare. Oh, well. Bro, he got two max guards in a row. This man is a hacker. He's not. He's not actually a hacker. He's just hella lucky. But uh, good on him. That's fine. Uh, do I do I risk it and go for Powerball? If you guys don't know, Powerball can miss. But you know what? I gotta show off this. This is the best animation of the game. Let's go. Show me the best animation of the game. I should have just sucker punched. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. But you know what? There's no way we missed two in a row. And I really want to show off Pyroball. <laughs> just let me show it off, man. <laughs> Come on. I just want to show off Pyroball. Just let me show it off. Please, game. Don't do this to me. I know in the last battle, I got three turns of paralysis on a guy. Let's go. Look at the best animation in the game. That's a thumbnail if I've ever seen one. All right, sick. We got the Pyroball off. Oh, I gotta look up. After this, I gotta look up to see if, Dynam if uh, Dynamax Pokemon can be Destiny Bonded. I'm pretty sure they can't. But in the off chance that they can, uh, my Max Knuckle was the best play anyways. And he's going out to his own Cinderace. Does he have a move for me? I don't think so. What's, what moves do we got? Um, He is slower, so he could bounce. I want to say a high jump kick would kill. But I don't want to miss. But, you know what? I believe in my Gotenks. Come on, Gotenks. Be a bro. He actually used Sucker Punch. Which, we live. Can we land the high jump kick? That didn't kill? Bro, I'm Sucker Punching. <laughs> I'm faster. Let my Sucker Punch go first. I think that's how it works. I'm 100%. Now I'm 100% sure. But I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If you both use Sucker Punch, the one who is faster goes first. Yes, sir. All right, that's how it works. Let's go. So glad I got that Thunder Wave off of my boy here. So, Cinderace. Cinderace doing really well this first battle. And now it's just his last. Who could be Dreadnought. He already Dynamax, so that's, that's out of the way. And I want to say Rillaboom. Okay, we're fine. We are fine here. Yo, you know what I just thought about? A lot of the moves I'm using are low accuracy moves. I should probably put a... Whatever the accuracy boosting item is on Cinderace. Let's see if we can land a Pyro Ball. Finish this battle off with a nice, beautiful animation of the Pyro Ball. Let's go. Are you happy now, Bree? You get to see the animation twice in one battle. That's twice in one battle. That's twice in one battle. All right, six. So, Gotenks gets the, gets the W for us in the first battle. So, I'm pretty happy about that. Nightmare uh, could have been a problem if that Gengar... Uh, would have got a few more max oozes off. But yeah. Off screen, I'm definitely looking up to see... Yeah, I want to I look at his team. Why not? I like looking at people's team to see what they were rocking. He was actually adamant Cinderace, so I would have outsped him even if I didn't... Uh, what's it call it? Um, let's see. Focus Sash Gengar with those moves. All right. Nice, nice. Citrus Berry, Rillaboom, Drum Beating, Super Power Earthquake, Knockoff. Not a bad set. Rocky Helmet, Dreadnought. Uh, so, okay, yep. Was he no? He's strong jaw. I was gonna say, was he swift swim or strong jaw? He was strong jaw. Leftovers had Hatterene, which could have been a problem. This thing, this thing could just, just. Oh my God, Hatterene is so strong. Leechy Berry Halucha. Okay, not even what's it called. That still could have been a problem though. If you would have got a sword stance and pat. I don't know if you can pass your unburdened speed to somebody else. And I think that's everybody. But yeah, not a bad team that guy had. Not a bad team. I'll continue battling. Not a bad team. I'm not gonna lie. At the end of this video, I'll show off the team code. Hey, we get to level five. Let's go, boys. What do we get? We get some BP. I like that this. I like that this gives you a bunch of BP. 
Let's get some random music going. But yeah, I like how this 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 is really good like for getting BP. I know uh, when the game first came out, people were like, "Oh my god, you only get a few BP for doing uh what was it? The battle tower stuff." And people were like a little bit upset about that, but then like they realized that, "Oh, snap. You can get mad BP from these guys from uh oh, is that a shiny greedent? Or is that just regular greedent?" I don't think they show the shiny sprite. Yeah, no, they don't show the shiny sprite. But anyway, you get a lot of BP from doing this. Corsola is a problem. 100% Corsola is a problem. I could see him leading Drag... I, could I think he might be a bad Dragapult. Bad Dragapult is... It's not bad, bad, but I wouldn't use it. Offensive Dragapult is always the best option. But I feel like his Dragapult is a screen setter. Because of Corsola. Um, with that being said... I feel like I, sh I should still lead Grimmsnarl. Man, that Corsola is going to be a problem if he brings it. Uh, Hippowdon is kind of... Eh. A lot of these Pokemon are kind of tough, actually. Um, I want to bring Dusclops, ironically enough. Who does he bring? He probably brings Dragapult, Mimikyu, Corsola. You know what? I gotta, I'm just going to go with my gut. Grimmsnarl, Dragapult, um, Cinderace. Can't really deal with much here. Uh, let's see. Grimmsnarl, Dragapult. I want to I wanna bring Dusclops, but like, I don't know about that. You know what? Cause yeah, he's gonna be Will O' Wisp. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. I'll bring I'll bring Aegis Slash. He's gonna be Will O' Wisp. Corsola. Corsola just insane. Corsola just lives, bro. Like straight up just lives the entire battle, and you can't like oh man, it's just it just sucks. Uh, but let's see what happens here. If he leads Corsola, I'm gonna be a little upset. I don't know what I do if he leads Corsola to be honest. I think I just Thunder Wave it and hope for shenanigans. He actually let Rotom Heat. Not a bad lead. He's going to will o -wisp me. Which I don't mind. I guess. Um, I really didn't have anything for this Rotom Heat anyways. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I should probably... I can't Thunder Wave him because he's part of Electric. I don't really want to set screens right now. Because that... You know what I mean? Like, I want them to last as long as I can. I'm just going to play rough to get some damage off. I haven't seen a... Uh, oh, he used Trick. What'd I get? I got a Choice Scarf, and he got a Light Clay. Okay, that's actually a problem. Uh, I'm just going to get some more damage off on him. He should want to will o -wisp me, though. Right? I feel like. I'll take a Choice Scarf. Oh, that sucks, though, actually. Because now my screens aren't going to be here forever. Oh, that's a problem. He actually he actually made he actually made a really good decision turn one. I should have... I should have set um, a screen. I should have set a screen. That's my bad. But that was a Volt Switch. Don't go out on a Corsula, please. Dragapult. I am a Choice Scarf Grimmsnarl. Am I faster than a Timid Dragapult? Uh, let me look at my speed real quick. Check summary. Let's see. 112 and 213. 112 plus 56 is 1. I am not faster than a Dragapult. But does he kill me? I want to say no. Can I Thunder Wave here? No, okay. I have a Choice Scarf into it. See, I want to swap out in like Aegislash and then go back out into Grim Snow and then Thunder Wave this thing. Cause I, there's no way I'm fast in this thing, but maybe I maybe I live uh his ghost move. Maybe I live a ghost move. Oh, he's Dynamaxing, bro. This is a this is a problem. Uh, yikes. We're gonna have to go for speed ties with our own Dragapult. All right. I don't think we live any of his max moves, to be honest. What is he going for though? Max, probably Max Ghost. Max Steel. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Okay, so that tells me he's a physically offensive Dragapult though, because the only the only Steel type move he can learn is Steel Wing. I think. See the Steel Wing or Iron Tail, and that's that's actually fine. I am going to. Should I, should I go on to Aegislash and do this, and then try and try and s clean up with Dragapult later? Maybe that's the play. 
I think Aegis Slash can live. Oh, and I am. I'm a physical Aegis Slash. Never mind. And he just upped his defense. I gotta go into Dragapult. And Dynamax of my own. Hope he doesn't have a max guard. And uh, see what happens. It's another mirror match. <laughs> Last match we just had a Cinderace mirror match. Now we got a Dragapult mirror match. Now. I'm gonna Dynamax and Max Raminda. Hopefully he's adamant and not jolly. Uh, that's kind of what we got to bank on. Uh, yeah, hopefully he's adamant and not jolly. That's what we got to bank on. I'm going to max Raminda. And let's win. Let's either win the speed tie or let's hope he's adamant. Come on. Come on, ham sandwich. You can do this. I know you can. Let's go. We're getting big on him. Or let's just live one. If we can just live one fa uh, max Phantom Force, then that's, even, that's fine too. But I don't know. His attack is insane. Dragon Pulse attack is insane. We get the- we win the speed tie. Oh, he's adamant. Let's go. Alright, does this one shot. It does it one shot. But that's fine. I think a Shadow Sneak will. And he goes for Max Raminda of his own. Do I live this? Probably not. Ooh, we do. We go. Okay, 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 okay. I'm living. Now the real question is... Do I win another speed tie? Or is he still- or is he just adamant? I want to say... Honestly, I, I feel like going on to Aegislash and Shadow Sneaking is a decent play here. I basically have to bet on... Oh, yeah, because if I... Ew. Okay, so my Dragapult can outspeed... Um... His Rotom Heat. But my Aegislash is not 1v1ing Rotom Heat in any sense of the word. Unless I get... Unless I get, um... You know what? I think I have to go out on Aegislash. I know I kind of just wasted my Dynamax here, but I feel like I have to go on to Aegislash, Shadow Sneak. Yeah, I feel like that's what I have to do. In order to win this, that's what I have to do, I feel like. Because then my, my Dragapult can outspeed his Rotom Heat, and hopefully whatever, um... See, see now, if he's adamant, then I'm gonna be, then I'm gonna be pissed, because then I just kind of... I could have just killed him, either way. Max Warminda again. Oh, he lowered my attack. That's not good. That's okay. So he's a physical Dragapult. We've seen a dragon move. We've seen... Uh, what's it called? Um, steel, uh, steel move. Does he have Phantom Force? I want to say I just Shadow Sneak either way. No matter what he's got, I just Shadow Sneak. I feel like this is how this is how I had to win. Okay, so he's dead. Now he could go out in the road and heat here and just destroy me. That's that's his prerogative, if he so wants to do. I guess in a way we haven't revealed whether we're a physical or a special Dragapult, so that's actually good. If he brought Corsola, does a shadow does a shadow. Does, yeah, does a Shadow Sneak kill from this range? I am minus one. I want to say it doesn't. I got a King Shield. Don't will o -wisp me, please. If he will o -wisp me, I'm going to be kind of upset. Overheat. All right, that's fine. Uh, now, do I live that with my Shield form? I want to say yes, but I'm not entirely sure. Otherwise... Hmm. I guess, in a way, it, t it doesn't matter because Dragapult can still one-shot this thing with a Shadow Ball. Yeah, okay, we're good here. Alright, let's see if I live. Did not live, but that's that's kind of okay. I probably should have just went for a Shadow Sneak. But his special attack has dropped. He's holding a Light Clay, so we already know his item. Now, I go out on the Dragapult, and hopefully Dragapult can clutch this. The only problem is if I go for Shadow Ball... He could have Greedent in the back, which would be kind of weird. I don't see why you would bring Greedent, I guess, other than fearing most of my ghost types. Well, who's this, like, he could also have Mimikyu, which would suck. If he has Mimikyu, he won. Yeah, if he has Mimikyu, he just won. So, either way, I just go for Shadow Ball here. Because if he has Mimikyu, he just won. Because I, I can't hit kill that in one hit because of his disguise. So, yeah, but this could just be for nothing, actually. I just, I just realized, yeah. So, if he has Mimikyu, he basically just won. Because Infiltrator doesn't go be behind Disguise for whatever reason. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright, is that Mimikyu? That is indeed Mimikyu. So, he won. 
Uh, GG to my opponent. And it was a fun match. Maybe I shouldn't have, uh... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have, uh... Switched out Dragapult. Maybe I did lose it there. I probably did lose it there. But, uh, it is what it is. We get our first loss. Pretty cool. And Mimikyu was able to clutch it. For him. So, yeah, I, pr I probably should have kept Dragapult in and just went for the speed tie again. Or assumed he was at. Hopefully, we can look at his team and I could find out if he was adamant or not. Or I'll just be left in the unknown forever. Forever wondering if I made the bad play. Can I please look at your team? We gave it a ball mushroom. Thank you, brother. Yes, I do. Yes, I do want to check out the team. Was he an adamant? Okay, he was not an adamant Dragapult, so it was a speed tie we were going for. So that's cool. He did have Will O Wisp on his, what's it called? Figgy Berry hit piled on, which is pretty sick. Wiki Berry Greedent. <laughs> he doesn't even have Belly Drum on Greedent, that's weird. And then Eviolite like Corsola. I'm so glad he didn't bring this thing. That would've just been a, that would've just been annoying to be honest. Dealing with a Corsola. But uh either way. Uh we're gonna quit battling. And then we're gonna go look at our rental teams. So we got our first loss in this video, which is alright, you know what I mean? You gotta you gotta win you gotta lose some to win some, something like that. You know, we learned from this, basically. Oh uh, yeah, so here's the new code for this team. It is public already. So yeah, I, the last team I had, like I said before, uh, Cinderace did not have his full Dynamax power. If you guys don't know, Dynamax Candy gives you more HP as, when you Dynamax. So when it's maximum, it stays maximum forever. And when it's maximum, I think your HP doubles. But at, but when I released the team uh, yesterday, I believe the video went up yesterday. Um, when I released the team, the code it had a Cinderace with only with no Dynamax Candy whatsoever. So now, if you want to use this improved the improved team. Uh, there's a code. Let me know if you use it. I would love to hear that you guys are using these teams. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.